Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Recently, I shared the lessons that I learned from a year of not buying clothing. And I also mentioned in that video that after a little forensics, I pieced together that in the three years prior to that, I purchased a total of 18 items of clothing. So today I thought it would be interesting to share those purchases with you. Every purchase that I made between 2017 and 2019. Now, I will say that there are no deep insights to be shared with you today. I have no real lessons learned here, but if you're curious to see what I purchased in those three years prior to my year of not shopping, here they are. Okay, now I have my handy laptop in front of me to remind me of everything that I bought. Now, I should say to give you a little bit of background, first off, that I currently have 32 items of clothing for the entire year. And in this count, this is what I consider day wear or things that I would typically wear out of the house. This does not include things like underwear, lounge clothes, pajamas, workout gear, accessories, or shoes, though I will show you shoes to give you a more holistic idea of what I'm working with. Okay, now let's go back in time. And in 2017, I purchased a total of six items, including four sweaters, one green, one burgundy, one navy, and one black. This was also a time in time period in my wardrobe where I was moving from bulkier sweaters to thinner sweaters that would be easier to layer. In addition to those sweaters, I also purchased a white button-down shirt and a gray blazer. That gray blazer is still one of my favorite purchases. All right, moving on to 2018. In 2018, I purchased five items of clothing, including a down puffer coat, two pairs of jeans, one blue and one black, another white button down shirt, and a camel blazer. I should mention here that at the end of 2018, or I guess more the beginning of 2019, in the, the spring of 2019, after two seasons, two winters of wear, those sweaters that I had purchased previously had shrunken beyond repair. I try to take good care of my clothes. I stretch out my sweaters after I wash them, but these decided to shrink and they were not going to be worn for another season. So at the beginning of 2019, I got rid of the four sweaters that I had purchased back in 2017. All right, moving into 2019, uh, and this year I purchased, or in 2019, I purchased seven items total, including four sweaters as replacements for those previous four sweaters. This time, one green, another green, a burgundy sweater, as well as a navy one. And in addition to those sweaters, I also purchased a white button-down linen shirt, a blue Oxford button-down shirt, and at some point, I don't exactly know when, but at some point in 2019, I decluttered my current pair of black jeans because they had just faded a ton. I no longer felt comfortable wearing them. They weren't black anymore. And this is before I finally bit the bullet and learned to dye black jeans black again. Um, so in that year, I got rid of my previous pair of black jeans and replaced them with another pair of black jeans. Now, aside from these purchases of clothing, I should mention that at some point in those three years, I also purchased three pairs of shoes. Two of them were replacements for the exact same pair of shoes. I purchased the same pair of Pumas again and the same gold Javianas again. Um, I also purchased a pair of black sandals at some point in those three years. And if you slot those purchases that I made over those three years into the 32 items that I have today, it would look like this. Okay, those are all of my clothing purchases between 2017 and 2019. I, again, don't have any really big lessons to share with you here, but one thing I will pass on is that I always get questions about how I make these mood boards of my clothing, and the answer is Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, there are also apps that you can use. There's one called Stylebook that I used a while ago. I had to purchase it. I think it was $1.99 at the time. Um, I can still re-download it if I want, but I don't currently have it on my phone. That's a really good way to be able to take pictures of your clothing and remove the background. Another thing that I would recommend and what I rely on more often is whenever you make purchases, I really recommend saving an image of that exact item that you purchased so that you can incorporate them into mood boards and sort of play around with 
what your wardrobe looks like, what your wardrobe might look like if you decluttered things or outfit planning. It can be used for all sorts of things, but I really recommend whenever you make a purchase, save a professional looking image from the website from which you bought it just so you have it and you don't have to substitute in other garments that aren't exactly what you have. This can be a really great way to make mood boards and organize your wardrobe without having to find substitutes. Okay, that's everything I wanted to share with you today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please stay safe out there and I'll see you next time.